Hola TV show brought to you by In Health Mutual and presented by Elva Carroll Grove City. Thanks for supporting Tony Dice. Bueno, mi gente, pueden, estamos vistiendo la carretera junto a Farruko. Si no te tengo el video oficial, la melodía de la calle es Third Season. So que veanlo pronto ya. Tony Dice TV, ¿ok? Si no te tengo, nada es lo mismo si no estás. Hoy tenemos un super programa preparado para todos ustedes con moda, música, eventos y festivales que ya llegan este verano a nuestra ciudad de Columbus. That's right, Jennifer. We have so much in store for you. We've got Tony Dice, we've got Taco Tuesday in the kitchen, and so much more with our fashion expert, Thomas McClure. Bueno, que ya no perdamos más tiempo y vamos a ver qué es lo que Tommy tiene preparado para nosotros el día de hoy. You know what time it is? It's Tommy time. Hey, I'm Thomas McClure, your fashion expert for Ola TV Show and the founder and executive director of Fashion Week Columbus. It's not every day I get to meet somebody that had spent 25 years in the medical field just to put that behind them and start a jewelry line. And not just any pretty jewelry line, but jewelry that heals. Today, I have Dr. Hannah Hershoff in the fashion hot seat. Let's go meet her. Hi, Dr. Hannah Hershoff. Thank you for being on my fashion segment today. You have such an inspiring and interesting story. I cannot wait for our audience to hear it. I'm a, actually I'm a doctor and uh, ophthalmologist by training. I got training as a PhD in ophthalmology, and then I come to United States. I joined the Harvard School, uh, Harvard Medical School, and I uh, did my uh, postdoctor training uh, for two years. And after that, and I joined to uh, Novartis. Uh, which is a pharmaceutical company and doing uh, uh, research. So I had um, totally 25 years. Wow, you have such a great educational background and professional background. And what really inspires me is the fact that you put all that behind you to start your own jewelry line. Tell us more about that. The story start two years ago. Uh, my cousin come to China And then come back, she told me exciting things in China, including she saw some very beautiful jewelry made by a stone. And that I know that stone is uh, from a mineral called Kaoling. Uh, uh, so um, I was thinking, wow, that's really beautiful stones. You know, I could make some jewelry because I'm really also handy. I like, I'm really artistic as well. So I make some pieces. I'm thinking, ah, nice, beautiful. And then uh, Luendis, my husband Luendis, uh, uh, sister, she had some problem. And then one day she came to our house. You know, we are just chatting. And then she said, can I have a piece of your jewelry, it's beautiful. I said, why not, I don't take it. The next thing you know, the next week, and then she called, she was calling us. She said, I just don't know what's what's things happening. It's just uh, I since I wear your jewelry, I feel like uh, I'm so motivated. Mm. I'm just feel happier. I said, well, if I you know, I'm a scientist too, you know, I like to do research and find out reason why. Always that's my nature. So let's test a few women. So we select uh, uh, women from uh, six years old to 65 years old. And after we interview them, we find out six out of six are all giving us positive effect. As a doctor scientist, I want to uh, let people know it's not a drug, can treat diseases, 
this cannot be used, you know, like a replace doctor advice, replace any drug. It's not like that. My test is no uh, control group. We need to have control group to really test the real effect. You know, usually when I hear of healing stones or crystals, um, I think of, you know, um, hemp uh, braided with crystals and but I don't think you know of your jewelry which is so refined so beautiful so ornate I wouldn't even think of it so please tell us more about like how do these stones actually work what are there different stones that do different things or are you focusing on just one type of stone uh, we have different shape of stones different shape of, st of stones has different uh, spiritual uh, power heart shape of stone called uh, more high energy and then square shaped stone has mild energy can calm down you and then we have triangle shaped uh, stone it has uh, the power can connect to your loved one and then can also uh, adjust your mood so so as long as you know, people can go to the website we have detailed description about those stones Dr. Hannah Hershaw, thank you so much for being on Ola TV show today. I got a chance to learn about your jewelry line, Sarah Yol Spirit Jewels, and not only how beautiful they are, but how they've affected people's lives in a positive way. Fashion with a purpose and fashion with a heart. Amazing. To learn more, visit www.myspiritjewel.com. Also, if you want to see yourself on my next segment, Tweet me at TommyTime or Instagram me at OfficiallyTommyTime. You may just see yourself on the next fashion segment. I'm Thomas McClure, your fashion expert for Ola TV Show. I'll see you next time. Thanks again to Thomas McClure for always keeping us fashionable. And with such an amazing story, Hannah turned from a doctor to designer. How cool is that? Definitivamente, Kisha. Muchas gracias a Thomas McClure, nuestro experto en modas, y a Hannah por traernos su historia, que es de inspiración el día de hoy, y por siempre mantenernos a la moda. Now, Kisha, I'm so excited to go see what the next festival has in store for us. And this is the Food Truck Festival with Mike Galicio. Let's go check it out. The fifth annual Columbus Food Truck Festival will be held right here at the Columbus Commons. And with us today, we have Mike Galicio, the man in charge. Welcome, Mike. Welcome. And thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So, Mike, we know that the Food Truck Festival will be taking place right here in the Columbus Commons, but so what date is it? How many days is it for? What are the time frames? What can we expect? Well, the dates are Friday, August 14th, Saturday, August 15th, and Sunday, August 16th. Uh, it's three days this year instead of two. Last year were two days. That's amazing. And tell us more a little bit of uh, the art and entertainment that we will be having this year. Well, it starts at noon, goes till 10 p.m. Uh, we've got all kinds of bands, 65 food trucks, arts and crafts vendors, but many more. Uh, lots of kids and family fun activities. So Now, you mentioned some kids activities, so tell us a little bit about what there is for kids to do this year. Well, we've got the Columbus Crew coming out. We've got uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets are bringing some things down here. I think some some games. We have uh, face painters, balloon artists. I think we got three different bouncy houses, so it's going to be a good time. Yeah, this is like the biggest food truck fest in the Midwest. Definitely, without a doubt, in Ohio. Uh, it's getting bigger every year. It's our fifth year. We started out with 25. Now we're at 65. It keeps growing. Now, what is your favorite food truck? Can we ask you that? Okay, well, because Paddy Wagon's right over there. It's, yes. That's Paddy Wagon. He's my favorite food truck. No, you know, a lot of them are. Um, there's some really good ones. Porchetta, Paddy Wagon, Mixie Bowl, Tortilla Truck. Let me think here. There's just so many. It's tough, you know. I, I, it's hard for me to keep track. Look, some good ones though. Some it good ones. All sounds so good. Yeah. Got some great bands this year. We got Angela Pearly, yes. Forrest and the Evergreens, Erica Blinn. Yeah, oh, we know yeah, Erica. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We've got DJ Charles Erickson from Damn Girl. He's going to be DJing our event. Um, a lot more food trucks. I think there's more. I think there's more of everything. It just gets bigger and bigger. So bigger and better. Yeah, bigger and better. Thank you, my guys. Make sure to come and join us, and we'll see you here at the Columbus Commons for the fifth annual Columbus Food Truck Festival. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much, Mike, for having us here today, and of course for giving us all the insights of what's going to be happening at the Food Truck Festival this year. I can't wait such an amazing event, the Food Truck Festival. And speaking of food, let's go see what Jen got into at Taco Tuesday in the kitchen. 
Welcome to the kitchen located at 231 East Livingston Avenue in German Village where every Tuesday it's Taco Tuesday. Today we're celebrating the second year anniversary of the kitchen so come with me and we'll go check it out. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now tell us about the kitchen. What can we expect when we come in? How is the experience at the kitchen different than any other restaurants out there? Well, first of all, we don't consider ourselves a restaurant. Our primary business is participatory dining, which you, most people probably haven't ever heard of. Um, it means that instead of us um, welcoming you in and seating you and giving you a menu, we expect you to come in and help us cook that meal. Um, so we preset all the equipment and the ingredients that you need to um, help us create part of a multi-course dinner. So whoever else was here that evening would help, be, would help create another recipe. And by the time you all sit down, you have a multi-course dinner that you can all share family style. Guys, I'm here with Jen. Jen, welcome to Ola. We're Ola. Hey. Ola. <laughs> Tell us, every Tuesday, it's Taco Tuesday at the kitchen. What can we expect when we come in for Taco Tuesday? Uh, you can expect to have a very good time. We um, try to be as lighthearted and as fun as humanly possible. We try to be funny. And so you will have a non-traditional experience here. That's amazing. And tell us a little bit more about the tacos that we serve here. So I see the board behind us and I see some traditional tacos and I see some funny names back there like the Michael Jackson beat it and all that. <laughs> you get it? It's beat. So yeah, we're hilarious. Um, sometimes we choose themes that are like straight up, you know, Mexican influenced or sometimes we do like Japanese or um, Ethiopian is what we had recently. So we take traditional foods and then make them into tacos. Um, but we also do things that are very funny. And so we'll pick uh, political themes or like, you know, a more generic style of theme, like uh, cultural icons of Ohio. And then we figure out a way to make tacos work. <laughs> that is awesome. So I can't wait to try one of these funny tacos. So what do you say we go and make one back there? Let's go make one back there. have some amazing food but we also had some really great drinks remember that you too can come in and check out the kitchen at 231 East Livingston Avenue in German Village let's go back to the studio Wow Jen those tacos looked amazing definitely and remember that you too can come in at the kitchen and try some of their delicious food and drinks and we're giving away five $20 gift cards for you to come in and try their food. So head over to holacolumbus.com for a chance to win one of these $20 gift cards for the kitchen. Thank you to the kitchen for having us once again. Definitely. I think I'm going to be going to holacolumbus.com myself. <laughs> you should. <laughs> well, guys, don't go anywhere. We are going to go head over to In Health Mutual. We're going to talk to Michelle, who's one of their board members. There's something for everyone. Serving all 88 counties of Ohio, In Health Mutual is Ohio's only health insurance co op. In Health Mutual, we were built for you.
Oh, I am hungry. Looking for a place to eat, but don't know where to go. Stop what you're doing and come to a vaquero. Feeling hungry? Come to El Vaquero and try our three-course dinner special. Start off with your choice of super salad, then choose from our six delicious entrees. Top it all off with our delicious desserts, all for $12.99. Only at El Vaquero, the most authentic Mexican food you can get without a passport. Visit us at albaquerorestaurants.com for more details. Welcome to Art City Tavern, a one-of-a-kind gastro pub in the Short North Arts District. We focus on providing our patrons with the best and locally sourced ingredients. So stop in and experience the majesty of Art City for yourself. Hola TV Show brought to you by In Health Mutual and presented by Elva Carroll Grove City. Hey everyone, it's Keisha, and today I'm here with Michelle Moskowitz-Brown, Executive Director of Local Matters. She's also an InHealth board member and one of InHealth's newest board members. So tell us a little bit about your background, Michelle. Sure, well I've worked in the arts and in food uh, management and nonprofits for about 20 years. And I have an interest in how arts and food can play a role in community development. So um, at my work at Local Matters, we're helping support individuals with the skills, resources, and confidence to eat well and feed their families. And that's certainly an important topic to address. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what made you choose in health as your insurer? Sure, well, I work for a small not for profit, and a couple of years ago I was looking for an insurance company because we didn't have a group plan. So I chose in health because it was a co op and I was interested in that, and also it was an affordable plan for myself and my family. And soon thereafter, Local Matters actually started a group plan. I was also interested in the intersection between prevention and health insurance, so I'm, I wanted to find out more about that and how Local Matters work in the food uh, world might come in handy uh, for the in health board. Sure, and I know in health works so much in preventative care. Now, so tell us a little bit about being elected for, as a board member. Tell us what the process for that was like. Sure, well I found out about the nomination process last summer and I thought it might be something um, that would be a good fit for me. So I filled out the application, I applied, and then I was elected um, last winter. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Now, co-op is sort of a different feel for health insurance companies. You don't see that much, so can you tell us what it really means to be a co-op? Right, so we are member owned, so as I mentioned, over a majority of the board members will be policy holders, and that's not common in, in the industry. We're also interested in um, preventative care and wellness. Um, it's a very consumer oriented health insurance plan, um, and we are also thinking about wellness and prevention much more than other insurance agencies, and also thinking about how to uh, be innovative with clinical interventions around chronic diseases such as diabetes. Now, what made you want to be a member of your board of directors for your health insurance company? Well, I thought it would be a very interesting process. I run a not-for-profit myself, so I have experience with um, governance and finance, and I thought this is interesting, you know, as a both a consumer of the health insurance policy and as a member that I could help represent, you know, you know, community interest and my personal interest um, and that intersection again around prevention and health insurance. So all of those things appeal to me. Now, what type of topics or issues are you expected to give input on? Well, like any of the other board members that in health, I review the financial statements. I'm concerned about the health of the organization. Um, we deal with issues of, you know, uh, performance and just basically the ins and outs of the operation. So it's very hands-on uh, process. Sure. Now, do you have to be nominated? Can you nominate yourself? How does that work? Sure, you can actually um, nominate yourself or you can ask someone to nominate you. I was nominated by a colleague of mine, the Board of Directors um, Chair from Local Matters, um, but anybody can um, nominate themselves or ask for a colleague or friend to nominate them. So the nomination process, tell us about that. How does one go about getting nominated? Great, well we will have the nominations open between July 15th and August 31st. So you can go to the website at www.inhealthohio.org and you can apply um, and nominate yourself for membership on the board. So the election, who votes in the election? Any policyholder 18 years or older can vote in the election and you can also vote for yourself. Oh, very neat. Now when's the next election? So the nomination process, as I mentioned, will be July 15th through August 31st, and then we will have the um, voting process between October 30th and November 30th. The final decision about board members will be made and announced on December 12th. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit with us and tell us about your experience with InHealth and being on the board. We wish you the best success in everything you have coming up. Thank you, Keisha.
ya estamos de regreso con más aquí en Hola TV Show y ahora nos gustaría invitarlos a que nos acompañen a celebrar una vez más este año uno de los festivales más esperados que es el Festival Latino. Este es un festival familiar que es la entrada gratis en el cual celebramos la música, la familia, la cultura, la comida y mucho más. Así que acompáñenos este año porque tendremos artistas como Luis Vargas y Oscar de León quienes nos acompañarán en el escenario. Claro, Jenny, yo no puedo esperar por el Festival Latino este año. Pues vamos a hablar con Rich Corsi del Festival Latino. Hi, I'm Rich Corsi, Festival Director of Festival Latino. The festival will be coming up this August 8th and 9th down at Bicentennial Park. We would love to see you come down this year and remember, admission is free. Hey Columbus, today we're talking to Rich Corsi, who's the man in charge for the Latino Festival. Once again, this year, 2015. Rich, welcome. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, Rich, thank you for having us once again this year at the Latino Festival. Tell us, what can we expect this year that would be slightly different than last year? Um, we basically did really, really well last year with the footprint of the festival, so we're kind of keeping the footprint the same. Um, we've got some additional children's activities, we've got a little bit more music, um, across the bridge we're going to have a little bit more dancing too. So Yeah, exciting! And when is it happening for the Latino Festival this year? It's in August? Yes, it will be August 8th and 9th, which is a Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day. And I heard that attendance is free! Yes, it's free attendance, come down, great food, great music. Awesome. And for the entertainment and the music, who can we expect to headline the show on Saturday and Sunday? Our national acts this year on Saturday are Jose Pena and Luis Vargas. And then on Sunday, we have Banda Machos and then to end the festival, Oscar de Leon. That's awesome because I know there is salsa, there is merengue, there is, you know, quebradita, what we call it, and a lot of variety this year. I'm so excited. Yeah, along with the national acts, we probably have a good six to seven uh, local acts too that we'll be performing too. So definitely. Come, down, come out early. Very cool. Supporting the local artists. I know L7 will be here. He's very popular. Yes, uh, DJ Kelly, who's a very dear friend of the festival, suggested bringing L7 in, so we're very, very excited to have him. Can't wait. Now, Rich, tell us about the place. I know this is Bicentennial Park. What can we expect to see here at Bicentennial Park this year? You know, we did, like I said, we moved out over here last year from Genoa Park, and with the permanent stage at Bicentennial Park and the, the equipment the city owns, the music has just been over the top. So we're excited, and if you were here last year, you didn't see a blade of grass when Los Hermanos were on the stage, so it was awesome. It was packed. Rich, thank you so much for having us again, and can't wait for this year's Latino Fest. Oh, thank Thanks for having us. Recuerden que el Festival Latino se lleva a cabo el 8 y el 9 de agosto de 11 de la mañana a 8 de la noche y la entrada es completamente gratis. No puedes esperar a ver a todos estos artistas, a probar la comida, las artes y mucho más, Kisha. Well, guys, don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to be talking to Tony Dice. We're going to take you to his concert at Euphoria. You don't want to miss it. No se muevan de dónde están porque cuando regresemos los vamos a llevar a conocer más de uno de los artistas favoritos y más queridos, mejor conocido como la melodía de la calle. Él es Tony Dice. Cuando regresemos. There's something for everyone. Serving all 88 counties of Ohio, In Health Mutual is Ohio's only health insurance co op. In Health Mutual, we were built for you. Boy, I'm hungry. Looking for a place to eat, but don't know where to go. Stop what you're doing and come to a vaquero. Feeling hungry. 
hungry? Come to El Vaquero and try our three-course dinner special. Start off with your choice of soup or salad, then choose from our six delicious entrees. Top it all off with our delicious desserts, all for $12.99. Only at El Vaquero, the most authentic Mexican food you can get without a passport. Visit us at albaquerorestaurants.com for more details. Welcome to Arch City Tavern, a one-of-a-kind gastro pub in the Short North Arts District. We focus on providing our patrons with the best in locally sourced ingredients. So stop in and experience the majesty of Arch City for yourself. Hola TV Show brought to you by In Health Mutual and presented by El Vaquero Grove City. Hola chicos, bienvenidos a Euphoria Nightclub. Estoy muy listo para poder bailar a su ritmo de reggaetón. ¿Están listas? Yeah. ¿Estás lista para ver Tony Dice? ¡Claro, estoy lista! ¿Están listas para ver a Tony Dice? ¡Claro, estamos listas! ¿Are you guys ready to go see Tony Dice? ¡Yes, we're ready! Gloria, dinos, ¿estás lista para ver Tony Dice? ¡Súper, súper lista! ¡Estoy toda activadísima! ¡Me encanta! El señor la pasamos bien, siempre son los mejores momentos cuando estoy compartiendo con mi público. Eso que vamos a devolverle siempre todo el respeto a través de la música. Estamos disfrutando un tercer álbum que está bien bonito, la gente lo está coleccionando. Eso que gracias, Ohio, de la, la pasé bien. Otra familia que tengo aquí. No sé. Muchas gracias, Tony, por estar aquí con nosotros. Dinos, what do you have to say to all your fans in Columbus and everybody that's tuning in right now? Oh, big hugs. Thanks for living with us. And we're gonna keep producing a lot of music. I'm just racing my little house with you guys. And thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for supporting Tony Dice. Stream Melody. Gracias, Tony. ¿Por qué nos presentas tu video musical, el último, antes de que nos vayamos? Bueno, mi gente, pueden... Estamos vistiendo la carretera junto a Farruko. Si no te tengo el video oficial, la melodía de la calle, Third Season. So que véanlo pronto ya. Tony Dice TV, ¿ok? Well, guys, that's it for today's show. We really hope you enjoyed it. We can't leave today without thanking Melody Larissa for keeping our hair on point, and as well for New York and Company for providing my looks for this and every show. Remember that you can find this look and so much more at New York and Company at Easton. They just renewed their line, and their Eva Mendez line is on fire. Kisha, you definitely look fabulous. Thank I love you. your look. And guys, don't forget to find us online at holacolumbus.com and social media at Hola TV Show. Y ahora los dejamos con el video musical del mismísimo Tony Dice con Farruko. Si no te tengo, que lo disfruten. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time here on Hola TV. Si no te tengo, she needs this. She's her life. Haciendo efecto, y el reflejo tuyo sigue 
a quien me espero Obligándome a hacer cosas que no quiero Se va, no venga.